Okay, so what I have here is a Photonis Echo Tube. This is a Gen 2 Plus white phosphor tube. Photonis tubes have been known to be in the night vision world, one of the more affordable options. And so I had to kind of just do a little bit of testing um, on it myself. And man, I it's okay to make mistakes and you know live up to them. I'm here to say loud and proud that I was wrong and that Gen 2 tubes can be very, very good. I don't have an L3 uh, tube to compare this to, but I've been playing around with this for a little bit, you know, just going on some night hikes. And what became immediately obvious to me when looking through this is that, you know, Photonis tubes tend to do really well in urban environments where there's a lot of ambient light, a lot of urban light, and there's a lot of light pollution. Um, I noticed that it just performs a little bit better. Um, when there, when it's in complete darkness, when there is no light at all, you know, it struggles um, as you'd expect. But man, what I was really surprised by is the level of detail and clarity that I was getting. Um, and typically, you know, there's gonna be a little bit of fuzziness you know, what you see looking through a night vision tube is never gonna be as detailed or as clear as with your, you know, vision unobstructed, but it gets pretty close. And for this Photonis Echo tube, it got really, really good. Like I was very impressed. I was able to make out kind of the finer details of like foliage and the leaves and the trees. Just looking at the, the moon. There's not a lot of blooming, even looking at city lights, which is pretty impressive. In fact, it's kind of easier to pick up details. Like you can really see the uh, the foliage and the leaves and the textures. That's really cool. That's really cool. When you look through a green phosphor tube, you're kind of bombarded with an aggressive lighting. And it's, it can be kind of harsh because everything else around you is dark. And in a white phosphor tube, the lighting is a little bit less aggressive and it's just easier on the eyes. And I've noticed because of that, and maybe it might be because of the color, but it might be because of an effect of the color, but it's just a little bit easier to pick up the finer details, which is really nice, you know? especially uh, using this for what I was using it for, which is primarily night hikes, you know, just observing, surveillance, hunting, things like that. It's, it really excels. Obviously we all would want an L3 tube, but it, that an L3 tube is also t like almost twice as much as a uh, Photonis Echo tube. And it performs like, I don't know, like 70, at least 75% of like an L3 tube. And that's pretty dang impressive, you know? And I would say it's probably a little bit more, but from my experience, I'm very impressed um, with the Photonis tube. And, you know, I am just, I would highly recommend it. However, I would say that, you know, because it is a Gen 2 tube and because it doesn't perform as well as like a Gen 3 tube, what I would recommend is is definitely trying to get binos. Um, there's just gonna be more information for your eyes to kind of process. And so um, if possible, I would definitely recommend getting uh, binos, especially because they're gonna be considerably more affordable than an L3 tube setup. But yeah, um, very impressed and highly recommend Photonis Echo Tube. They're worth checking out and, and they're definitely worth considering so yeah, if you got any questions, just drop a comment down below. Thanks.